Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Looking at Francis Schaeffer, his life and apologetics. And Schaeffer's often been criticised as being too simplistic. Uh, Greg Banson, who I, another person I really love and admire. Um, Schaeffer, for me, really... Um, he... He, he brought scholarship in a in a simple way. He he was a very simple writer. Uh, what I mean is he made ideas simple. He he made it clear. He was a very clear communicator. So he might have been guilty at times of being a bit too simplistic in his exposition of Sir Thomas Aquinas or Hegel. Hegel but I think that was because he he laboured to make his writing clear. Um. But in terms of clarity for reading his writing, you can't help but understand what he's saying. <coughs> there isn't any, uh, or the very little uh, complex uh, issues where he doesn't explain it in a way that you can understand. So he, he was able to communicate very complex ideas in a simple way, and I think that's the best way to be. A lot of intellectuals, especially the French, in, French intellectuals and some of these linguistic philosophers, they get so bogged down with the technicalities <coughs> that they just don't communicate to ordinary people. Schaeffer was able to take complex ideas and, and reduce it to the ordinary person's level. And I think that's because he had a firm belief in the democratiza democratization of knowledge. He wanted ordinary people to be empowered and not to keep things in the hands of an intellectual elite in fact this was one of the challenges he often said is that he couldn't he was worried about an intellectual elite trying to control western europe uh, and america and so one of his challenges was against intellectual elitism and i think part of that was his making sure that complex ideas were made in a way that ordinary people could access them